move up. Yeah, yeah, you added another bongo cat. Yes, they're both your bongo cats. I love them, so I wanted to add them there. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're reacting to this because Fable wouldn't stop making references at me. So, yeah, we're going to watch Space Station 13. Review. I'll be covering a very niche... Hmm? Oh my god. Very infamous and very autistic game that everyone's asked me to cover since day one. A game oh, where you hell? and many of her real living people with questionable social intelligence role play together yeah, that sounds like me and Fable. space station in the universe where aliens, shapeshifters, and wait, 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 what was that? working for first space station in the universe where aliens. That's a bunch of xenomorphs. Oh, oh so I'm okay. Shapeshifters and traitors working for rival corporations are the least of your concern. Oh, the greatest threat to your own existence are your own crew members. Oh. Henry, come to the station canteen, where the food is definitely poisoned. Injured? Head on uh. to the medical, where half a medication has been relabeled as happy pills. What the hell? Painkiller, happy pills. Discouraged? You can try taking a painkiller instead. But it wasn't a painkiller, it was LSD. Having oh my god. Trip? Don't worry, there's a security officer nearby to help, but he can't respond because he was murdered and replaced by a genetically modified monkey wearing his uniform. Hallucinating? Keep uh... calm and focus on what's real. Unfortunately for you, the supermassive black hole expanding towards you is not a hallucination. It is, in fact, very very real. The emergency shuttle has been called. Welcome to Space Station 13. Space Station 13. All well, right, see you in a little bit, my. So what do you think about what you just learned, Fable? Also, hello, I'm. Uh, good luck, I'm I, with your foods. I think it's interesting. He needs more mushroom man, though. Oh my god. <laughs> He's been constantly talking about mushroom man when I was turning off the video. I don't know how to make him stop. I think shaking him will make him stop. You should have never shown me that video. This is not you. Oh my god. He has a very simple premise. Everyone has a job. Your objective? Do your best to delay the station's inevitable destruction, either at the hands of antagonists or at the hands of your own incompetent crew. Well, then. Only, I give the final score for a game at the end of a video. Not this time. Space Station 13, 10 out of 10. Amazing. Spectacular. Don't play it. If huh? I'm being perfectly honest with you, Space Station 13 is a fantastic game, okay. but I genuinely don't recommend you play it. Why? Because the end engine it's running on is probably older than you. Ah, uh, because it's a super old game. Yeah, super old games have problems. Especially to, if they're from that era where, uh, you know, we didn't have things like Steam to easily make things. But, yeah. Because the interface... Mm. It was a convoluted mess, and only usable because me and every other autistic chimpanzee who I plays this game. What the hell? Spell the blood of the infidel and spill it for the love of Allah? What the, the hell? He's to muscle memory because of the insane time investment and commitment required for you to learn a single role. And because, to be perfectly honest, the servers can't handle all of you. At best, we can handle, like, 30 extra players before you grind the servers to a halt. For all these reasons, Space Station Also, old online games like this that run on things like GameSpy, yeah, they can't handle a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Well, what is it? Hmm? You said something. I just said, oh, yeah, I was agreeing with you. Oh, okay. Always was and always will be a niche title, and maybe that's for the best. But <laughs> I can offer you something else. I've already killed your hopes and dreams of playing the game, so instead, let me share some stories of my wonderful experience with Space Station 13. Okay. These stories span several years and several different servers, the names of which will forever stay anonymous because I respect mm. their privacy and because I've received threats from some of the more colorful servers to not oh. mention them by name. Or else, well, what's going to happen if I don't comply? Are they going to hire a Bitcoin assassin to run me over with his mobility bit... scooter? Is he gonna... That makes it kind of hilarious considering uh, <laughs> Bitcoin has been destroyed, more or less. <laughs> Fable? Yeah? Well, yeah? I heard a bunch of rolling around near you. That's totally not me planning to steal a bank. 
Oh my god. Uh, stab me with his insulin pen? I don't know. But between you and me, I hate having cum delivered to my mailbox and would what? prefer to keep it that way. Anyway, I remember Who the first time wearing him. space station. Okay, probably for the best idea. Very vividly. My friends told me to download it and hop on some shitty server. It had furries okay. and erotic roleplay. More on well that then. later. I entered Why <laughs> Why with the Khajiit? Why, Fable? You're a furry, you tell me. Why what? Apparently it was a furry server that he found his way onto. Okay. With erotic roleplay. Alrighty. But why with the Khajiit fable? Why? Uh, I don't know. People, for some reason, like cat birds. Quite literally, Around, isn't anthropomorphic lion ladies. Assistant, my job to give assistance and to get oh, my hands I... burnt off trying to hack into places I don't have access to. As oh, I'm well, then. screwing around with airlock wires, my friend comes running down the hallway, dragging oh. someone's unconscious body. Frantically, he tells me, Seth, quick, can you open this door? Sensing okay. the urgency in his voice, I do. He throws the body inside and sprints away. The airlock closes. Three seconds later, something explodes. What, what the, the fu fuck was that? I ask. Yeah. Oh yeah, I fed him potassium and water pills. It takes a while to metabolize. My friend had just murdered a man in cold blood by turning oh. his body into a living, ticking potassium bomb. As soon as the I don't think potassium works like that. Fable is eating. I am going to steal his food now. Because he's doing this while not, we're doing a video. I'm not eating. You're eating. Om nom nom. Oh my god. And digestive juices cracked through the potassium tablet. It reacted violently with the water in his stomach and exploded, killing him. Is that even possible with potassium? Unless... I could be wrong, but you actually do need some uh, amount of potassium from bananas, so... Or, from inside you know, out. From food. After such a horrific I'm 100% sure the level of destruction this per what he's talking about has to be a high dose of potassium, doesn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, probably. Because normally, if you normally if you do eat like bananas that do have potassium in it, you don't just explode out of nowhere after you drink a little bit of water. That's not realized, a thing. Hey, yeah. This game's pretty good. Fast forward a few weeks. So yeah, he got tricked yeah, into throwing a body into somewhere and it exploded on him. Oh dear. Yeah. And I'm learning roles, calling shots, and ignoring every single rule of the server. I also Sounds about right. Every single rule of medicine. I was a surgeon, top of my oh. class, destined to go where no licensed professional ever has. Also, my friend's girlfriend started playing with us. To okay. put it bluntly, she wasn't very good, but she was very interested in progressing the medical field. What do you mean by that? Possible. Cargo had just delivered us some complimentary pizza oh. as thanks for patching up their boys after they got a little little too intimate with a xenomorphs on mining station. Brilliance oh god damn. flashed before my eyes. My pupils widened. I started physically sweating because she said the words I've always dreamt of hearing. Please turn me into a pizza. What? <laughs> Seth. Seth, why? <laughs> I don't even. Uh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> this just came out of nowhere. Turn it. <laughs> it's, not, it's, I think it's so funny because it came out of nowhere. Oh my god. And so, I got to work. Nurse, get me my scalpel, tweezers, protractor, bone gel, and the uh. rest of the unfinished pizza. One horrified clown watched in the operating theater as I cleanly the hacked hell? off and cauterized her hands and feet. <laughs> oh my I god. opened the pizza box it's and an began actual clown. her new yeah. cheesy limbs. Help! Sec to surgery, the clown blurted the out. Fuck? He's turning her into a Papa John's. The hell <laughs> 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 Why, Seth? I, 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 what the fuck? I, I think the worst part is the fact that the clown's the one calling her, calling for help, saying he's dirty dirt, no Papa John's. I think that's the worst part of this song. I mean, of all pizzas, I would probably prefer not to be a Papa John's. I know. Papa John's is crap. I know. 
Medical stormed in with a host of security officers to detain me, but they were too late. Oh. Her hands and feet had already been replaced. Surprisingly, what? she could walk just fine on a pair of pizza feet. But the lack of opposable pizza thumbs meant that she couldn't really hold anything, let alone pick them up in the first place. However, her How would pizza she, uh, hands you know, were for a convenient and portable source of nutrition. Despite her numerous protests that she consented to the surgery, the head of medical demoted me on the spot Come and on. banned me from ever practicing I wonder medicine, why that you can't <laughs> consent to being a pizza I, I wonder why thrown in jail for the rest of a round. Clearly, there was no oh my God, for Seth, the seriously. in the station. So, many rounds later, me and my friends found a new purpose. Cleaning up the server, one erotic furry roleplay at a time. Using telecommunications oh. and metacommunications, I expertly pinpointed areas of high homosexual intent, namely the dorm rooms and the showers. What's As the hell? <laughs> meet privately Seth. with one another, they will inevitably uh. start writing words such as, ooh, my aunt has a bard prickly surprise. I don't need to hear friend. this. And, mm, yes, not me with your thick, oh my God. trunk. This is completely unacceptable. <laughs> Once an act of high homosexual intent is in motion, several of our men would mobilize the as they groan, moan, and spit out hairballs on each other. A security officer would barge in, flashbang. I would just like to say, you're the one who picked this video. You have only yourself to blame. <laughs> I'm having a blast. I'm gonna, I don't know about you. I'm gonna flashbang you is what's gonna happen. As they groan, moan, and spit out hairballs on each other, a security officer would barge in, flashbang the feline fornicators, oh and team baton them into submission before okay. another officer handcuffs them to the bed. On Good. the other side of a contaminated dorm room, our team's atmospheric technician sets explosive C4 like charges Clark. against the station glass. Quickly, we evacuate the biohazard exclusion zone and seal the airlocks. That's Homeo just Juliet, so to freaking off. Before the charges detonate, the oh my God. In the room and sucking their bodies out into the black vacuum of space. Another job I, well done. Many I like how that's just more <laughs> insanity in the fact that they flashbang them, tie them up, and blow a hole in the ship just to get rid of them. That's just so excessive. <laughs> what the hell? It's he's always space. excessive. You know this. I, I know. This is just so out of left field. I love it. Decompressions later, erotic roleplay was considered a real occupational hazard. The I wonder why. The cat boys got creative, started doing group sessions instead. But these were quickly crushed by my friend playing the best roboticist I've oh my ever God. seen in my life. The yes. airlock doors to their He's in a giant mech. Chamber were welded shut to prevent interruptions, so he drilled right through them with a gigantic combat mech. The air inside was heavy with a sickly sweet smell of wet fur balls and talk. As he goes into there, all I can think of you as 12 seconds to comply, 10 seconds to comply. I don't, I don't know why, but I love Seth's uh, uh, voice like. His version of a Kajik, because I think he got really close to the way they try to speak in the game. Dear God. It's so, so bad. Sad. The furries didn't even have time to react before he started unloading shell after shell of flashbang grenades. And oh. Well, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. ...of flashbang grenades, and thus, we all got banned. We paid the price. But to see half the server get flashbanged unconscious for ten minutes straight, twice <laughs> Dear God! ...didn't last long anyway. The admin's mom shut for it down as soon as she saw the electricity So yes, my apparently went he... on to enrich other servers. <laughs> apparently they started just... How many flashbangs did they have? I even got good at being a chemist. In other words, I always stole the syringe gun at the start of a round and filled it with lethal doses of chloral hydrate. For Why? my own protection, of course. I also gave whatever chemical anyone requested, which gives me some moral ambiguity and two okay. degrees of separation from any pranks or murders that took place as a result of said chemicals. If a oh, clown God. For space lube, he's gonna get space lube. One time, Why is there space lube? To lube the entire hallway outside of medical uh, all the way to departures well, to now be departures. honest uh, as weird as it sounds um medical lube is used in surgeries and other such things it's also going to be used for uh for mechanics when dealing with cars and stuff it's just that it's mostly known for acts that adults do stuff in but it's used for other things huh 
Doctors. Yeah, you know, it, it can be used in like medicine and stuff. It's just that a vast majority of people just know it's used for adults doing stuff like that. But it's mm. used in other such uh yeah, I didn't know it was used for other such things. Shuttle docks uh -huh. to get us out of our quickly burning heap of a station. However, if there's no call for a shuttle, departures okay. is completely empty. Besides the airlock, which McLeod has oh. hatched open. Several Wait, how did he survive that? Running through medical, slipped on the space loop, and accelerated themselves face first into the infinite <laughs> vacuum. Oh my space. god! <laughs> <laughs> and oh my god! <laughs> Why are you such a menace to these poor people? Oh no, it was apparently just a clown he knew. He didn't say it was him. But Seth gave it to him. I know he did. Yes, he did. Fashion also slipped on the space loop with most of the crew. Which the clown had had vacuum of space. Security figured out it was the clown. And in true security fashion, also slipped on the space loop with no. most of the crew <laughs> floating around dead in space. The station had to be evacuated. <laughs> and we were banned from playing clown ever again. Oh. Several rounds later. He was. Wait. What did he say? Banned from I playing it. clown. It was, was him. Clown, and it wasn't him. Fashion, also slipped on the space loop with most of the crew floating around dead in space. The station had to be evacuated. He was later banned from oh, playing he was clown banned. ever again. Several rounds later, I can I see why. Spawned as a traitor. Mission specifications decrypted. Welcome S to the syndicate. Steal a piece of corgi meat. What? Why do I feel like this game, even if you're supposed to be the traitor, everyone just, you know... Even though we were on the good side, you still mess with your teammates because it's funny. Well, I mean, they probably just screw around so no one knows who's the true, the true traitor. I'm sorry, Mai. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mai. Don't worry, you'll get it next time. And I had no idea what I was doing, but I wanted okay. my first time to be special. Conveniently, an assistant comes in, bleeding all over, because he was probably trying to break into the armory without insulated gloves. His character okay. sprite had maximum melanin and an afro. His roleplay friendly name was Madik, an idiot, but a useful idiot. There were no <laughs> medical staff on hand except me, so I said, hey, I know a little bit of surgery. I'm not Let technically a doctor. Up. I put him under general anesthesia and took out my syndicate PDA. With this, I can discreetly teleport a few traitor items into my inventory to help me achieve I got a warning about my this objective, video, so I which in to... this case was murdering the head of security. I ordered two sets of voice-activated explosives, which trigger upon hearing the recorded code phrase. Okay. I set this to the word most likely to be I spoken to by this mentally retarded human being. Can you guess what that is? I surgically opened okay. his ass and inserted the first of the explosives. Then I lodged the second one neatly inside his chest cavity. Closing them up, I took okay. the anesthetic and began to put my plan in action. I would arm on. this simple-minded moron with illegal weaponry with a hope that security would detain him on possession charges. I gave him all the LSD, all the chloral hydrate syringes, and an entire spray bottle of space loot. Okay. I had expertly equipped him to be the ultimate griefing machine. Pretty Proud smart of plan. my work, I gave him a hug and set him loose on the world. But but just before he left medical, he turned around and said, Thanks, nigger. <laughs> and we both. Oh my god. God damn, sir. Do you get what just happened? Yeah. He exploded due to his own plan, basically. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, sir. It's quite literally Looney Tune style. Exploded. My overtimes playing antagonist went about just oh, as well. God. Once I started as the leader of a cult, our I objective still can't was to seize that. control of the station and sacrifice our mortal bodies to summon a physical manifestation of our dark god. This How feels like a role Fable could play. However, I wasn't what? very good at it. Did you hear what his role is? Uh, not really. What's his role? Okay, we'll go back a second. Proud of my. I still can't believe that happened, dear and God. And both exploded. My overtimes playing antagonist went about just as well. Once I started as the leader of a cult, our objective was to seize control the of the cult. Yeah. 
A bow oh, just brother. as well. Once yeah. I started as the leader of a cult, our objective was to seize control of the station and sacrifice our mortal bodies to summon a physical manifestation of our dark god. However, okay. I wasn't very good at it, and neither were my servants. Well, we that's found not a very nice, good. Quiet, and most importantly, abandoned bar near the north end of the station, which we began redecorating with our own blood. You see, cultists need to learn a set of ancient words that's randomly generated every round. If you arrange okay. them in the right order. Order, you can perform different spells and rituals to advance your goals. We didn't get far <laughs> because the most dangerous thing to an incompetent cult is a single crew member doing their job. The fucking janitor found us. We. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is this? I just like that one. <laughs> He's just so comfortable. <laughs> Try to negotiate, convince him that it's actually crayon and not what blood the all over the floor. Dear God, but that didn't Seth. work. So we try to murder him instead. That didn't work either. He used his mop to slip us with soapy water and ran off to call security. As you can God damn it. <laughs> That's actually great. Hello, Common. We're watching this video. <laughs> he just got away it's by so slipping. What? It's so bad, Common, but I love it. You're loving this video. Like, this is probably your favorite Sith video so far. <laughs> it's so dumb. What? I love that he turned someone into a, into a Papa John's pizza, which is so dumb. Can see, I'm not very proficient at being a traitor. More okay. often, I find myself being abused by traitors. Some of the worst offenders in this regard are definitely wizards. Why are wizards, wizards a class? Have a bad tendency to sexually abuse me as well. Not too long ago, me and my friends played a round that was already in progress. As okay. soon as we entered, we realized something was very wrong. An announcement played on the radio: Penis Inspection Day is in effect. All what crew members fuck? must report to Doc Johnson for their mandatory penis inspection. Doc Johnson hell? was very clearly a wizard. I knew what was coming, and yet I resigned myself to fate and went to medical reception. Doc <laughs> Johnson was overjoyed to have new patients. He led me to a private room, asked me if I'm circumcised, and told me that I passed the inspection. What the hell? Colors. What a surprise. <laughs> what the I, I... This game I is... just want to say this. Okay, go yeah. ahead. I just want to say, I like how he says he's not good at being a traitor, but a lot of the insanity is because of him just being himself. I don't know why he says he's not good at being a traitor. I think it's because he never actually completes his mission and usually gets screwed over by someone else doing something competent. Oh my god. But he's so good at messing with everyone else, though. It's hilarious. Surprise, I thought. He's oh. not actually going to grief me. But I was wrong. As I turned away to leave, he... Blew off my ass what? magically. Hey, it's wizardry. I ain't gotta explain shit. Anyway, Doc Johnson is a terrible doctor. He left me bleeding on the floor as he took what my ass fuck? cheeks and used them as a hat. Oh I my god! Professional. <laughs> a round of space. God damn it! Well, Fable said. Oh my god! I love this stupid game. <laughs> I worry if I ever play a game like this with Fable. Team can be very intense. Oh no, you really shouldn't. I okay. Here's the thing: if you ever play a game like this with me, I'll either take it really serious or do the dumbest thing possible while still taking it really serious. Yes, that seems very you, Fable. It is very. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. If you give me the opportunity to flashbang a bunch of furries, I will. Why? Because you gave me that power. Why specifically you gave me that power. Because they know what they did. Oh my god. You're slow paced and or, or just randomly anyone, I will flashbang everyone. This is why we don't give you flashbangs. Not a traitor and you No, this is why you don't allow me to have fun, because I do stupid crap all the time. To handle, you can always just role play and get comfy in a bar while the mm. piano plays anime songs and the jukebox plays whatever deep fried ASMR bullshit people keep putting on. It's what a very hell? wholesome experience and it helps you get emotionally invested with the other members what of the hell? Crew, which are often nice people. However, security is often okay, staffed my by shoulder is in pain. I'm sorry to hear flashbang of furry. Why? Uh, even I'm eyes confused now. Um, uh, so here's the thing, Mai. Um, they have it coming, and they know what they did. They know what it's, a, they know what it's about. Uh, 
Anyway, moving forward. Maniacs acting out their most depraved it. power fantasies. They are often not nice people as a oh. result of their inherent propensity right. for members of your crew, which are often nice people. However, security is often staffed by egotistical megalomaniacs acting Sounds out about their right, most honestly. depraved power fantasies. They are often not nice people as a result of their inherent propensity to be insane sociopaths. The rest oh, of the crew will often rebel against their tyranny. In one such case, Cargo had declared. <laughs> Independence security what the refused hell? to recognize the independent station state of Cardonia, <laughs> the so they tried to barge their way in and arrest everyone involved, including me. But security was unprepared for the trap we had in store. One what? officer rushed into Cargo Bay and slipped on a banana peel straight into the conveyor belt waiting for him. He tried repeatedly <laughs> to get back up, only to be tripped again by an ocean of banana peels on the conveyor oh belt, which looped around in a circle. Surrounding that circle was another circle composed in entirely of vending machines. The officer oh. was also being brutally <laughs> assaulted by several hundred cans of soda. The vending machines were hacked, and as a result, they would continuously fire drinks at whoever oh, is in the area. Each so officer so slipped into the banana belt, got smashed unconscious by a relentless stream oh my of God. discount Dan soda. Trademark. So literally he was beating the them to death with soda. <laughs> On a compare belt. This is so beautiful. I don't know what to call this, but that's definitely something. Mark, all rights reserved. After extensive head trauma by our soda turrets, security reluctantly accepted Cargonia's independence and their right to bear arms. Oh if my god. One department that has more revolutions than cargo, it would have to be science, and it's easy to understand why. We spend our lives researching <laughs> ways for the drift? good of the station, which does, of course, carry its oh own share god. of risks and hazards. Sometimes accidents happen. Oh my Sooner god. Or later, some bored and mentally challenged assistant will try and put a bag of holding into another bag of holding oh. and security can't always comprehend that we're not directly responsible for the resulting black hole eating through the kitchen Vi well uh fable does that happen when you put a bag of holding in another bag of holding actually yes it does see what happens is when you put a bag of holding in another one in dnd &D, it actually implodes on itself, creating a creating a miniature black hole that absorbs everything within, I want to say, like a ten foot radius. That's, and uh... basically, and basically, you get sent to the astral plane. And unless you're actually smart, there is a chance you won't be able to move. And if you're extremely unlucky, you'll get eaten by a giant dragon. I'm not even kidding. Well then. Yeah, no, it's it's literally a thing in D and D. If you put a if you put another one in, if you put, well, to be honest, if it's not just uh, it's not just a uh, bag of holding, it's anything, it's any object or item that lets you put stuff inside of it. So, uh, think if you put a portable hole in the bag of holding, it'll also explode. Okay, into a the mini reason, black hole. Yeah, the reason being is because. I think there's science or magic behind it is because technically they're both, uh, they're both, um, what do you call it? Right now? They're both mini dimensions that hold stuff in them. So when they come together, the magic gets really wacky and crazy and implodes on itself. Well, damn. This lack of appreciation yeah, for Yeah, the that's the science behind it. The science behind magic. It's not, it's, okay, I wouldn't say it's uh, magic or science per se, but yeah, essentially if you put two things like that together, it implodes on itself. Sounds about right. It usually ends with arrest warrants for the whole department, which is usually answered back with the words, I'd like to see you try. But yeah, I, I don't think rebelling against the science division that have giant mechs at their disposal is, or, you know, ordering them all to, well be arrested when they have giant mechs at their disposal is a very good idea. <laughs> oh, for those who don't know, in chat right now, Common is describing how to murder Gregory, who is one of the players in Fable's D&D game. Yeah, I mean, I would, but I'm not that mean. Says the man who would flashbang furries repeat. They have it coming, alright? They know what they did to rate. me. 
national security, R&D is actually quite a chill department. Oh. I also made a oh. great discovery uh, last By the way, Mac, there actually is another item in D&D. I think it's called the Staff of Power. If that breaks, it actually creates a it actually creates a black hole as well. Kind of like what happens if you put a bag of holding in another bag of holding. Mm. Why? I don't know the reason behind it. I just know that if it breaks, it has a it has a chance to suck up everything in a certain radius. It's D and D is weird and also really mean at the same time. Yes, it can be. The time I played there, me. I am not a furry. What the hell? And another scientist were messing around with blueprints and eventually made ourselves a pneumatic cannon. Normally, these are used to launch whatever items you have inside. What we okay. didn't know was that it could launch food as well. I oh, loaded a lasagna, aimed for the mouth, and fired it at my fellow researcher. The lasagna disappeared. What the hell? That's amazing, he said. We just realized what happened. I had just managed to remotely force feed my fellow man. But what do okay. we do with this forbidden <laughs> knowledge? Nothing good, that's for sure. My Comrade got to work asking chemistry for hallucinogenic drugs. They oh said my no. God. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna escalate so fast. It's Seth, of course it escalates the fast. Dispensers filled up the beakers with happy juice and ran oh. straight to the kitchen. We injected all the donuts and hot pockets we could find with as much LSD and mind breaker toxin as they could hold. Oh my we loaded oh my into God. our food delivery system and started firing off at everyone in the hallways. The food was instantly delivered. The crew was instantly satisfied. Several people, oh. including security officers, managed to see the two small lines of text indicating that they've just been fed something. They thought it was extremely <laughs> clever and said they didn't know the pneumatic cannon could do that. Oh boy, here we go. Since it was just a bit of that harmless fun, we words. got off scot free. Minutes yeah. later, the hallucination started. Crew oh, wonderful. Members started screaming on the radio. Some were puking, shaking, or convulsing on the ground. I the wonder why. Couldn't keep up with the bodies. They piled on too quick, and most of the doctors were too busy fighting off non existent entities to do anything about it. The chemist, who originally refused to give us LSD, was arrested by security on suspicion <laughs> of intentional <laughs> food poisoning. I wonder oh my god, the poor chemist. Uh, it was complete pandemonium, and I think yeah. it illustrates perfectly the chaos that is Space Station 13. Oh, what the hell? Did the place just get filled with lava? What just happened? Probably. Oh, to place here. Your left hand goes flying off. <laughs> <laughs> what, the what the hell? I can't tell what's happening. Screams and oh, I think they summoned a dark god or something. That's all I have for you today, folks. There is, of course, more stories to tell, but we'd literally be here for hours. Space Station 13, a marvelous, unique, and incredibly shitty game. 10 out of 10, don't play it. Because if you do, they're gonna blame mm -hmm. it on me. And I hate having come in my mailbox. As well, always, then I'm glad Fable can't play this now. So stay tuned. On other news, oh, I started I'm a subscribe star well. account. So if you'd like to invest and don't want to give your money to Patreon, now you can. A warm thanks to the many did, did members really of the Merchants Guild, okay. generously funding and bankrolling. We have to keep Fail from playing this game. Truly wonderful. No, oh, I want to go. I want to do something stupid. You always want to do something stupid. That's why I have to stop you. You do care. Oh my God. <laughs> why am I here? It's just to suffer. <laughs> because you invited me, I keep telling you this. Uh, dear God. Am I'm... I wrong, though? No, but I'm glad you at least liked the video and we're having fun with it. Even at my That was expense. like one of the best videos ever, honestly. Funny enough, it, I think it's the one yeah. with the highest views. Because <laughs> I think it has 8, that, 8 million views. Wow. But yeah. This is honestly one of the best um, set videos ever. 10 out of 10 would watch it again. I, you probably will. But yeah, if you guys want to see I Fable... Will in fact, yes. Want to see Fable horribly die and 
uh, Dark Souls. He's doing a playthrough right now, so go check him out. He should be in the description. And yes, we, uh, I don't know what else to say, to be honest, besides Fable laughing and wanting to get control of a giant combat mech. YouTube, if you want me to, if you ever have a game that says insanity, I get that's full of insanity, let me know and I will flashbang all the furries for you. I'll do it for free. Mostly because it's funny. He will. Trust me, he will. I, I would um, love to join one of the um, Gmod servers, but they're all full of mini pants and I don't want to deal with rules. Well, I hope you guys had fun over on YouTube. I'm, thank you, like, comment, subscribe, go check out Fable stuff, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>